When diving deep into local culture, typically specialty cuisine is at the forefront. So let's explore that. Situated on this very big lot in Orangistad is this unassuming container. This place sells a number of Aruban dishes and snacks. It is locally very well known for their soups. But if you want soup, you gotta move fast. They sell out of every single one of their soups every day. So I'm gonna run inside before they run out. Tripe soup, also known as Sopi di Mondongo on Aruba, is not unique to this particular island, but it is considered a Caribbean delight. The soup is typically well known and prepared in Latin America, the Philippines, and the Caribbean with Aruba offering some of the best. Tripe, which is the edible lining of stomachs from animals such as cows, may be seen as a delicacy or acquired taste for some, but trust me when I say, don't knock it until you try it. This Caribbean recipe is extremely tasty. There is a place in Orangistad off of this roundabout that sells out of all of its soups, including Sopi di Mondongo, every single day. Bombini to welcome back snack. All day long, people are coming and going. Most of them are here for soup. The ladies in the kitchen work fast because the orders are constantly coming in. The big pots of soups in this kitchen is what the customers are after. The variety of soups include beef, chicken, oxtail, bean, but arguably the most in demand here is the mandongo. Abelo Andrade owns Welcome Back Snack with his wife, Sharin Cruz. He absolutely credits her for the success of their soups and says she makes them with her own hands every single day, with love being the main ingredient. To their customers, it's the authentic home-cooked flavors in the soups that keeps them coming back. My mom used to cook mondongo, but she doesn't anymore. So that's why I come here and ask for the mondongo bus. That's the closest to my mom's soup, mondongo soup. If you like to eat Arubian food every day, so, and you want to have the taste like home, you should come here. Maintaining that true Aruban flair and taste in their soups is what drives this family-operated business. The master chef behind the dishes, Sharin, who learned how to cook authentically from her grandmother, preferred to let her husband do the talking on her soups, but she did verify how important it is to keep her soups 100% Aruban with a slight point of the finger. Not that difficult. Claro. Unlike Seinfeld, this soup place is known for being friendly in a fun-loving way. Abello puts good humor in his customer service. Tengo dinango ta facioso, pero no estás timanan, no estás timanan. No estás timanan. Mane señor aquí, ya sabe la hace 80 años. No sé. It is time to meet Norma. She lives nearby Welcome Back Snack and frequents the place every day. But there's no one better to introduce Norma than Norma herself. Norma ta Norma. Norma Simmons, with two M and two S, pensamiento y cabamento. 
Saying the recently turned 80 year old has quite the personality is an understatement. Although the story is about Sopi Di Mondongo, she wants to make it clear that that is not her favorite. And she also wants to make it known that she is a very proud Aruban. The soup that I like is meat soup. No Mondongo soup, meat soup. Okay? And me, let me tell you another thing. My mother is from Saber, and my father is from Scotland. And I born here in Aruba, so I am an Arubian. Fluent in English and Papiamento, the Aruban dialect, Norma has a message for you. I like the soup. Everybody likes the soup from here. It's, it's very delicious. You have to try it. Every drop of soup from this place is sold out before noon every day. The locals know this all too well and plan ahead if they want to get their hands on the goods. Because when you pass by, you know already that you're going to see a lot of cars outside parking, waiting for their food. So I, mostly what I do is when I need to go to work, I pass by here, ask for my food, pay for my food, and 12 o'clock I will come and pick my food to go to work too. Because I know that if I come 12 o'clock, there's everything empty, <laughs> finished, there's no leftovers. More than 50 soups gets turned out of here in just a few hours every day. Abello says if you want soup, come early. If you do pay a visit to Welcome Back Snack, Norma will likely be here. Regulars are concerned when they don't see her around. Yes, every time that I, I don't come, they ask, and where is the girl with the freckles in her face? I'm not quite sure who was the main star of that story, Sopi Di Mondongo or Norma. Either way, they both contribute to the charm of this local place.